This video is to show how to check the Aveco accelerator pedal using multimeter tester. First is to check the resistance of a good accelerator pedal. Connect the multimeter test probe to the socket pin, as shown on the screen. When the accelerator pedal is in a neutral position, the resistance of pin number 1 to pin number 2 is 0, and while pressing the accelerator pedal, the resistance will increase to the maximum of 1100 ohms. Connect the multimeter test probe to the socket pin, as shown on the screen. The resistance between pin number 3 to pin number 4 is fixed at 1300 ohms. Change the connection of the test probe, as shown on the screen. The resistance is 1200 ohms, while the accelerator pedal is in neutral position. And when pressing the accelerator pedal, the resistance will increase to 2000 ohms. Connect the test probe from pin number 4 to pin number 5, as shown on the screen. When the accelerator pedal is in a neutral position, the resistance is 2300 ohms. And when pressing the accelerator pedal, the resistance will decrease to 1560 ohms. And this is all the pin resistance of a good accelerator pedal. Now we check the pin resistance of the defective accelerator pedal. This accelerator pedal is always on a high RPM when it is connected to the truck. Connect the multimeter test probe to the socket pin, as shown on the screen. While the accelerator pedal is in a neutral position, it shows that the resistance is 1097 ohms, and when pressing the accelerator pedal, the resistance is not responding. Unlike the first, the good accelerator pedal, the resistance is starting to zero, and it is increasing the resistance to 1100 ohms when it presses the accelerator pedal, and this is the cause why the RPM of the truck is always on a high level. Connect the multimeter test probe to the socket pin, as shown on the screen. Check the resistance from pin number 3 to pin number 4. 1,271 ohms is very low, compared to the good accelerator having 1,331 ohms. Next is connect the test probe from pin number 3 to pin number 5, as shown on the screen. The neutral position resistance of the accelerator is 1357 ohms, and when pressing the accelerator pedal, the maximum resistance will raise to 2241 ohms. The resistance from pin number 3 to pin number 5 is the same as the good accelerator pedal. And now check the resistance between pin number 4 and pin number 5, as shown on the screen. 
From the neutral position of the accelerator pedal, the resistance is 2065 ohms. And when pressing the accelerator pedal, the resistance will decrease to 1575 ohms. And the resistance between pin number 4 and pin number 5 is the same to the good accelerator pedal. They just have a different resistance between pin number 1 and pin number 2. The problem with the defective accelerator is having a resistance between pin number 1 and pin number 2. While the accelerator pedal is in a neutral position, unlike the good accelerator, it starts on zero resistance when in a neutral position. And the resistance increase when pressing the accelerator pedal. Now we need to check what is inside the defective accelerator pedal.